Hello, vlog people. Um, I haven't done a vlog for a while, and I'm very, very excited to get back into the vlog world with a very old friend, and I mean that in the nicest way. <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> my dear friend, my, my fellow uh, actor, singer, dancer, performer, and entrepreneur, Kelly Lester. Uh, Hi, hello. look how cute you look, first of all. Okay. <laughs> So pay no attention to the man behind the... There we are. Hello. Like like this. Yeah, thank you so much. It's sort of... um, um It's like chic, uh, it's 50s me. It's It me. is you. you it's... sort of actually grown into your persona. Well, we remember when we were in school together, I was always like in the wrong era. I should have been born in the 40s. I always used to like to sing those tragic, you know... You did. Tragic 40s kind of numbers, and so... We went to UCLA together. Yeah. Now we I've went grown to, into it. We went to, um, to, we were a musical theater workshop, which was the center of, of our lives. It still is. And I, and <laughs> no, I, you know what's really interesting mm. is that, I, uh, uh, well, you know, I have three kids. They're all musical theater obsessed. And my oldest one is now in university musical theater school. And that's, you and know, a uh, generation later. Can I say that Cooper, on the other hand, now he's just turned three. He wants to be a football He's guy. just Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Now he is, it is a song, but it's about superheroes. And he just wants, Daddy, I'm going to shoot you. Well, so wait, does he like the uh, activity of it or does he like the song? He likes Which the song. It? He loves the costume. All right, good. Oh, well then he's on the right track. Yeah, so but he, he mostly likes the... Actually, and he's starting soccer now. And I have all these videos of blow them blowing the whistle and them running. Wait, 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 wait. What? You're like sitting in lawn chairs watching soccer? I'm not in lawn chairs, okay? <laughs> but I am totally a soccer dad. <laughs> he doesn't really you play. Say? He doesn't really You're play. Soccer dad? I am. Oh, well, I God. will be. He does. It's, they don't have teams yet. They don't compete here. He's three. They kick the oh. ball. They do whatever. But they blow the whistle and all the kids run and then bringing up the rear. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh, yeah. <fine>. Exactly. <laughs> but he loves it. So anyway, we went to school. At UCLA, we met in musical theater workshop. And oh my God, when Sam Harris walked in that door and opened that mouth. Really? Oh, well, who was this guy? Where did this voice come from? We were just, it was, it was amazing. It was, I? It was, it was amazing. It was amazing now, it was people. amazing then. Loved this group of people. And do you know what I flashed on this okay. morning when I knew that we were going to do this? I flashed on, because in musical theater workshop, you could invent anything. You didn't, weren't doing a specific scene. or You could invent a song, a medley, an arrangement, and I loved arranging songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you and I, for some reason, thought that it would be fun to do a medley of songs from... Annie. 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 So we were... I was uh, I, 18 I, I or I 19. I the audio tape. Why didn't you tell me? Are you I kidding me? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, totally. Oh I would God. love to have that. I would have brought it today. Really? Oh, we sound unbelievable. We sang at the horn. But hold on. I remember. Don't you remember with the band? With that medley? Blazing, blazing. Don't remember that. I remember doing it on the stage at, at UCLA. And and then when I was thinking about it this morning, I'm like, I was 18 or yeah. 19. Yeah, so was I. And so why were we pretending to be orphans? <laughs> Because Sam could wail those notes. No, but seriously, what planet? That I what could world? just go but, along No, with but it. seriously, what were we? I mean, you were like, you sang maybe, right? I don't think I sang. Yeah, but that. then, but then we sang. Don't we you sang know, Easy we sang Street. Tomorrow, but we sang tomorrow, and that's what I have. I have the recording. I'd of love to hear that. We sang at the horn. So you know, I raced home and I looked for that tape of us singing tomorrow, when we sang together at the horn so many years ago. It was not very good quality then from my cassette recorder. It has not aged well. So I found a little piece that I could play you, but it's really bad quality, the rest of it. It gets all overblown, and if I made a copy of a copy... Anyway, I'm just going to play you a little bit of it on my cassette player so you can see, but we sounded good. There's you and me wailing away and a little bit of uh, Luke Garrett throwing in some harmony there, so here it is. <laughs> Fun. 
Okay, so so many things. There to was talk a about. third person in there though playing the piano, so it's not like but we overdubbed ourselves live. I forgot his name. Was it Luke? Luke, Luke? Garrett. So brilliant singer, great singer. Yes. Yes. Was that, was that his last name? Forgive Luke for not Garrett remember. was a brilliant yeah, and voice. He played the piano and he sang. So at, at the at the at the end, I think there's three parts in there. Oh, he chimed in with a harmony. Why not? If you got him there. It's fantastic. So um, Kelly and I dated in college. So um, Kelly and I dated in college. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> and can I just say? First of all, he broke my heart. I broke her heart. But look at us now. Because okay. you know, <laughs> it just wasn't gonna work. Um, <laughs> but you know what? I remember. I, your father scared me so much. Your father. He's Kelly's so, dad. He's softened. Well, he's a, he's right now. He gets to be granddad. <laughs> but he was. He's an actor. Peter Mark Richmond has been in hundreds and hundreds of episodic things and stuff. And his whole, even his persona in most of the things he played was this sort of ominous, overbearing yeah. sort of... So the camera was, would pan to him and he'd be like... Exactly. <laughs> you don't want to mess with him. Do you remember Montu Dynasty? Oh, yeah, yeah, He was very, very yeah. authoritarian. And he was a great, really good painter. Oh, he's a, a really phenomenal. He's been painter. in like, lots of shows and museums and stuff. Which, you know what, we'll, we'll come back to, but don't you find that creative people do many what? things? You... It's no surprise that, that, that good creative people, writers, whatever, are also uh, great gardeners, great painters, well, great craftsmen. I just people. got a little tour of Sam's house, and, he, and I said to him, you are so crafty. I, mean, I have he's not like, since I have a child. Hey, well, me either. I was, do you know I sewed my entire maternity wardrobe? You did when, it yourself? You made your own clothes? Yes. I never I was, worked I was crafty, a and I did like decoupage, and I did all kinds of things that took tons and tons of patience and time and being crafty and you just showed me all this wonderful things that you've painted and created and they're amazing and so we were just saying neither of us have done anything crafty since we've had kids what's up with that because the kids are our craft <laughs> anyway we, what we were talking about your parents helen peter moore <laughs> they're still doing well they're doing great oh, oh this is the funniest part so my mom helen. is now helen and they met in Summerstock in 19... They got married in 1953. So they married... They met years... In, he was leading man. She was leading woman. They wow. fell in love. It's so romantic. romantic. It's so romantic. Anyway, so then she went and had five kids and like sort of gave up the business. Okay, my mom is in her early 80s. Uh -huh. And is now doing like web series. Stop! Like, so... To I'm not What's kidding. Happening? Not kidding. Doing like short films, going out on auditions, got a whole new career resurgence. So we're really happy for her. How fun for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, She's always, always, well, I mean, you know, she always missed the stage and sure. kind of. So well, it's, five kids will, will uh, take funny. you out of the circuit. <laughs> for a little while. Now, least. the other thing that in our history that we, at UCLA, besides that we dated. <laughs> I want to get back to that. Let's talk I, about that. <laughs> Um, what went wrong? Or what could it have been? Gosh. <laughs> um, was that Hurry Hurry Hollywood, which is a musical that I wrote with Bruce Newberg, Kelly starred in in college. That was fun. It was fun. That and was fun. for me, it was, I, you know, I didn't do it, you know, my whole second year, I went to school two years, right? Right. My whole second year, you know, I never even took classes. Wait, was that the year I was there with you? The, the first, the second year was Hurry Hurry Hollywood. Yeah. That, I never took a class. I we Bruce and I went to the dean and begged him to let us produce our original musical. I had so much chutzpah, and I mean, I did this I, all through my whole everything. It was like, I'm really great. Can you let me do what I love to do? And people said yes. And and so the whole second. So you year, really weren't there to get a degree. You were just. There I was there to have an experience well, and yeah. to utilize. And, and you did. And I did. Yeah. I learned a lot more from being able to write. Yeah. Create, star in, cast, produce a yeah. musical than ever I would have no, been. Was, you know, it was. And it was, it was a, phenomenal. It was a great experience. It was phenomenal. But, but also dramatic. Well, they're still talking about that show being done now. Can I mean, you it that? keeps getting pulled out. I mean, it's just so, it's recently timeless. got a call it's from timeless. another person who was in the show, who's the producing now, who said, yeah. "You know what? We should look at this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, Casey Nicola, who's a huge Tony-winning Broadway director, was in the oh, chorus. Casey. Now you know Casey and I. Did our first season of Summer Stock right out of UCLA together. We really? flew on a plane to a bus. As opposed to what? A to bird? a something. On well, a plane. I don't know. Like, you know, we were like these two little children going across country to our first season of Summer Stock in New London, New Hampshire. Wow. In 19. Don't say it. I, you know, we're only 26 now, so yeah, it was just a few days ago. Yeah. You and Casey. Yeah. You've also worked with other friends of mine. 
I mean, you know, that we didn't go to school with, because didn't you do the Fantastics with Stokes yes. and Stroman? Oh, my God. And no, somebody well, else, well, Susan Scott Stroman. Ellis. Yeah, Scott and Susan worked on um, this production I did of Grease mm. a million years ago. Susan Stroman. <clears throat> You know, I think she's like 37 Tonys. I love Susan Stroman. It, it was, it, that was an amazing production. Was, with all these people that had been in the national tour of Greece, and then we were at like some dinner theater in Philadelphia. Don't you love that? It was, it was pretty cool. But they, they were great. They uh, were absolutely Can great. I show you something from our past? Now, Kelly is probably the most goyim Jew I've ever known. I she, not. You are. You are basically a shiksa in I Jewish not. clothing. That's why it didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> Because I needed a Jew. And I, on the other hand, was the honorary Jew. Yeah. And um, Kelly gave me this in... You still have it? This is called a chai, which is spelled C-H-A-I, not to be confused with the T. I cannot believe that you have that. That's so I do have that. That's nice. It looks like a little rhinoceros. (laughs) (laughs) And what does that mean, Kelly? It means life. It means life. And to I still life. have that. I still have L'chaim. that. Isn't Something that? like that. L'chaim. <laughs> I so think that's not a means. Jew. <laughs> L'chaim. <laughs> My God. Hi. Have you C- not even... C-H-C- L'chaim. Can you do the... Can you just please Google this and sell this, please? What? You're going to say L'chaim? Uh, no. I can't. That's like the T. Two T. You juggle, too. No, I don't. You don't juggle? What? I thought you were a juggler. That was your last guest. No, I do not juggle. What? No, it wasn't my last guest. What? I thought I remembered you doing, like, party tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's okay, I awful. never got drunk in college, and I never did party tricks, and I definitely don't juggle. You know what? I was never a party. <laughs> I wasn't. And I, yeah, my, my, my alcohol was never for fun. <laughs> it was just survival. <laughs> I drink now. Do you? But Good for I you. still don't do party tricks. No? No. I remember you juggling. Well, I, cu- I might have tried. We had that class with... Oh, yeah. Tom Orth. Tom Orth. A movie we had class. To learn we had to learn, we had to things. learn how to Maybe juggle. that's no, what no, it no, is. No, no, no. I don't juggle. Maybe I did drink in college <laughs> much more than I remember. So, anyway, so you went on. You were doing a lot of musical theater, doing a lot of different things. And, and then... then you had children. And then I had children. And then you met it Lauren. Lauren Lester. Yeah. That's... No, I met Lauren because of my dad. Oh, you because, did? Yeah, because did they, they, did, they did a cartoon series together. And um, uh, Defenders of the Earth. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> You remember that one. And uh, uh, so they knew each other. You'll appreciate this story. You must have heard this story. Tell me. You must have heard this story. So they did this, sh- this uh, show for uh, a year and a half. And my dad never mentioned him. And then my mother goes to the, the holiday party and uh, uh, meets this very charming young man, uh, Lauren, and uh, has this nice conversation with him about like installing cable TV or something. And so goes home and says to my dad, oh, why don't you fix Kelly and Lauren up? And my dad's like, oh, shit, hold on. So then... I, that was my, a good impersonation, well, by the way. Well, because the last person he set me up with was like the plumber who... Cared about like his car more than he cared about you know the plumber. Your father set you up with a plumber. And uh, nothing against plumbers. Uh, 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 you know, man, he handy with his hands. Great. I have nothing against plumbers. That's a whole love, other subject. Well, I love plumbers, but didn't like this plumber. In general, he was rude to the valet. They it was person. plural too. I love plumbers. <laughs> Go on. Anyway, people who are rude, I don't want to talk <laughs> again. So he was rude. So anyway, nothing worse than a rude plumber. I, right. I don't like. Did he have the like, plumber crack? No. Oh. No, he wore a jacket on our date, but he was still rude to the valet person, so I, I never know. saw the crack. Anyway, can't do that. he didn't fix my pipes. Okay, so anyway, um, I said to my dad, ugh, you know, whatever. Yeah, who is this person? My dad had a holiday card, like, picture from the party, and he said him, and he's like, you know, like, trying to, there's 80 people in the picture in Lawrence. Oh, so, I even, so I go, Dad, look. They're all taken. The good ones are taken. He's probably married or gay. <laughs> and my dad goes, I don't think he's married, and I really don't think he's gay. So he called Lauren up. You realize this is the same man who never told you that maybe the things didn't look so promising with me. <laughs> I don't know if he told me that. <laughs> <laughs> I might not have listened. <laughs> okay, so, anyway, go on. Anyway, so, so he calls up Lauren over the phone, and he goes, Lauren, uh, 
do you like boys or girls? Yeah. Just like that. Wow. Just like that, that's, out of the blue. And great. Lauren really wasn't all that friendly with my dad, even though they worked together, because my dad's kind of, you know. Do you think that he was asking him for a date? He didn't really know. He goes, um, girls, why? And so he goes, well, my daughter, that, and so my parents always wow. send out holiday cards. So Lauren happened to have the holiday card and said, well, hold on a second. And he grabs the holiday card from this wherever, and he looks at it, and he thought I looked okay. You know, so anyway, he said, okay, sure, I'll go out with her. And, and he showed up in a children. black leather jacket, and I said, okay, I'll marry you. So wow. there you go. Yeah, 22 That's years. That's amazing. 23 and you have three kids, girls. three girls. Three girls. Ages are... Uh, 11, 13, and 18. Wow. wow. So, yeah. Isn't that amazing? I know. Well, when we turn on the camera and I'm looking at ourselves there, I'm going, how many years later does this look at us? I know. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Is I'm, that good or bad? No, it's good. We're all right. We look good. So, in addition to us being friends as performers and we've created together and we've sung together and we've done all that stuff, I, you know, and I've told you this, I so admire you as a businesswoman because you are so clever and so smart and you've been able to take your passion, your creativity and the circumstances of your life, like when you were having kids and you were a mom and it was very important to you to be present and be there in their lives and you were like, and you like to fiddle around and decoupage and play and paste and do and you created this huge business that we've all seen, uh, these light plates. Yeah, it's called art plates. Art it was plates. Decorative lights, which covers. And then I went over. I don't know if you know this. Making soap. My company also so stop sold decorative and go back first. Don't soap go to the with soap. The, with, well, with the same artwork on it. It's all the museum stores and stuff. Yeah. But doesn't it wash off? No, it's dipped in. Oh, I don't have the business anymore. Wax, hot wax. The, 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 the images. You put the image on the soap. You dip it in hot wax, and then it doesn't wash off. So it doesn't matter if it's soap. Right. Well, the bottom you can wash your hands with, but the top doesn't like lather and doesn't come off. The bottom great. does, though. Right, right. So you're able to actually use yeah, the soap. Yeah, until it gets down like a little thin. And then you can use it for something it's, else. It's for your guest bathroom. Do you really use the soap in the guest bathroom? If it weren't for the internet, and now I have another business now, it, I'd have no business. But the internet makes it possible for people who just have a good idea to do something and put it out there and get customers. You know what, Kelly? And it doesn't ideas, really cost ideas are a dime a dozen. Well, How many times do you hear somebody say, "Oh, I could write a sitcom. Oh, I, you know, such and such is funny. Oh, I could write the. Oh, I, just, I thought of that years ago." The difference is the people who actually do it. Well, That's what makes the difference. And you actually do it. Nobody, you know, whether it's somebody kind of raising an arched eyebrow or whatever, you're like, "This is what I'm going to try." There's, you just well, do I, it. Well, I like, I like to say, I, I find I, that I, really thank inspirational. You. Thank you, thank you. I, I like to say that I think I have a good idea like once every 10 years. That's all it takes. Well, because I, the, with the light switch covers, I was the first person that I could see anywhere around like sort of putting art on light switch covers in the way that I was doing it. So it was kind of the first. And then my lunch boxes that I sell now. Which we're um, getting to, which I'm forget. very excited to talk about. It, I'm the first person who's doing it in this manner, in this shape, at this price point. I saw a need for it as a mom of three kids, like packing lunches every day, what a pain in the butt. Like, let's do it better, faster, more affordably, blah, blah, blah. And I went, well, God, if I'm this obsessed about this, maybe other people are. So, I so when you say you have one good idea every 10 years, does that mean you have 100 other crappy ideas that don't fly or you decide don't really register? Or? I think... Because that's the nature of all creativity, too. I've... Every, I've, every Van Gogh didn't paint every painting fabulously. Yeah. Well, I don't... You know, what the, you know what happens with me I is, that I, is that I have one good idea, and then I... This is my... This is a problem. I'm tunnel visioned. Mm. Like, I, it's not that I had... I don't know if I have other ideas. If I do, I don't pay attention to You're them. You're just myopically <laughs> focused like, on I'm obsessed with what I'm, what I'm doing now, and how can I do it better, different... I mean, like... Well, what's that Thomas Edison saying? Uh, about invention is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just about going and yeah, doing. Yeah. And that's what happens is uh, people screen themselves out. It just becomes, I mean, in our business, in our in business, in show business, my God, the, the number, even if someone is considered successful, even if someone is considered legendary, the constant process of audition and reinventing, oh. You can screen yourself out because you just get tired because they beat you down. Right. You know, 
it's from whatever you call it limitations or whatever, but it's from that that we actually create. Even like my own singing style, it's the things that I can't do have led me to do things that yeah, nobody else yeah, can yeah, do. Yeah, it's exactly, so amazing. Exactly. And what you did with um, with the light switch plates is you were looking at your life. I'm home. I've got three children. I want. Well, to be I only had one little baby at the time. Yeah, and mm. I was yeah. I couldn't like go. I couldn't get a job and go out on tour or whatever. And what, right. Well, well, I mean, you you do that kind of thing, but I mean, it's, it's just like what are you gonna do? Pay 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 the nanny to come with you while you're on stage, and then all your paycheck well I mean so what could right. I do so I started like so it, it worked crafting. for you but then you got you got but tired I also of it. didn't want to sing anymore I was oh tired. really you were tired I was tired of like the business and trying to it can kill you can be something and you know be skinny and be beautiful and stuff it's like I'm nursing you know it's, it's can I tell you how tired I, <laughs> I am like, can of I tell you about nursing and beautiful it is the thorn in my side. But you are skinny. You're I'm so skinny. not you any are. of the above. <laughs> Let's get to also your newest, latest adventure, venture, and and adventure. It's definitely because an once adventure. again, you 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 found a need for something. You created it. Yeah. You pursued it. You. Well, no, this is the funniest thing. It's like how to uh, manufacture. Well, yeah, that was that was the funniest thing because I said, you know that's what? That's where people get tripped. All the stuff that's out there now, all the it's a uh, there's a tough world. It's a lunch, lunchbox containers and a lot of the really nice, you know, there's a lot of nice products out, but they're very expensive. And mm. it's like if you've got three kids and you're trying to save money, you don't you don't want to spend forty five dollars for each lunchbox, whatever oh, for your no. kid. So, yeah. said, so you have this idea, and then you you find a way to manufacture right. it, and you find a way to do it cheaply so people can actually afford it. Because no one can pay. Who's going to pay forty five dollars right, for but a lunchbox? We, we, but besides being cheap, we actually did it really. There's, you know, you with, made it with, well. all, with all the stuff. You know, no BPA, no all that garbage that you don't so want to see in it. So that's the main thing. And what was really amazing was last year, green. Green was the trend topic. I mean, you know, it still is. Of course, it still is. But I got, I got into the business. I started in uh, December of two thousand nine. Turned the, so fast. you know, the switch. The switch on on my website and there it was we existed and uh, you know it's been it's been really interesting but what what I've been loving the most about it is the whole social media aspect and the reaching out well, and can I throw the, in also what? yes it's the social media thing because you're always learning and Kelly is somebody and I think this is the secret to great success of life actually is to remain curious Oh my you God. always remain curious when you not investigate a day, something. Not a day goes by that I don't learn something new. And Google is my best friend too. So you like that? You Words, like that. topics, yeah. anything, go. I mean, I don't, when people sit and say, "Do you know?" No, and that's the end of the conversation. I'm like, no. <laughs> that's fine. Now, now I know. Now I know. <laughs> so then you could do it from your heart. But what Kelly has done is now she's created this incredible product, which, by the way. Not only do I really admire you for, but we use these. We actually use these all the time, and they're fantastic. And I've told all my friends about them who also Thank use you. them. And you know, that feels so good to actually say that you that you really like something. It's like not, oh, you know, my friends got this thing, and so it's actually like, wow, whoever whoever invented this, I want it, you know. But you've also done something else. You've learned, you figured out a way to do what you love to do. I didn't figure with, I could not I could not not do it. It's just sort of uh, who I am. It's so like you created, put myself out it's there. you. I mean kind of is you. <laughs> you know? Like this character is you, but it's surrounded with some fifties kids, which is kind of you. And then we have to sing and dance about it and get Sam Harris. <laughs> and then ah! it's about me. And so <laughs> wearing a tuxedo. Wearing a tuxedo. And, and so what you've been able to do is create this thing and, and if you and the, it'll be linked on here, of course, the, the, yeah, the what website. What are they we talking did. about? But how fun and how I mean, you when you look at the behind the scenes thing, and you're looking at this crew on the soundstage, like we're shooting a movie yeah, or a commercial, was, that and was cool. you guys that did it cool. first rate, Thank and it was you. so much fun. Thank you. It was so much fun. No, it was fun having you there. Now, so you you've been able to combine her first love, which is performing, singing, and also this great little fun character, which is really an extension of yourself, yeah. a facet of yourself, and then uh, promoting and selling these fabulous things. That feels good, huh? It feels it feels really good. Um, the parts that work and the feedback that I get and the fun that I have creating, like the little videos and the singing and all the creative stuff, and my kids are very proud. That's that's really fun. And you're and, collaborating with your husband. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, who is a that, great director that, that and writer? That's saying yeah. He, he wrote, and your brother. 
oh, my brother Lucas wrote the music for the, the two episodes that we did. And then, uh, yeah. By the way, just... I hate him a little bit because I, at any given time, I'll, w- I'll wake up with snap peas and carrots, <laughs> I can munch and crunch all day, red peppers and celery. Why is this still in my head? That's the Lucas, sign of a good song. I hate you. Lucas Richmond, but genius. But it's, it's, you know, we're talking about celery, yeah, and I'm against it. celery, you know that? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm against celery. I mean, I'll I'll do it. I'll do it because celery. I looked at it as, because it's because it sticks in your teeth. I don't like it. <laughs> but you didn't you, have to eat it though. You no, only had to pack it. I only had to pack it. It, it was a webisode, Sam. Right. <laughs> I, I, and it's my job to be an actor and pretend that I love celery. <laughs> I brought you lunch today, but I didn't pack any celery. Good. Yeah. I actually have had to buy things for my son that I hate, like celery and radishes, because I don't want him to have the same. Ooh, radishes are good. And they pack well. What do you like? <laughs> I like chocolate. Okay. <laughs> I like peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I like lots of things. Why didn't you tell me? I could have my bought child, you chocolate and peanut butter. My child eats everything. That's good. Look at the 50s glasses, too. Um, you can talk about anything forever. I don't All of a sudden, I'm with Norma old, Desmond. I don't look older than you, Norma. <laughs> I am older than you. Um, you can talk about anything and forever. And so this could just like, so I, I don't even know how we're going to begin to edit this. But, but to in, in, in closing. We'll put some on my website. There you go. That, but in closing, that's, I think that's, that's can I just is. say that I admire you so much because you take what you're gifted at, your passion, your creativity, your fortitude, your tenacity, your discipline. You raise good kids. You have a great husband. You've been able to put all these elements together. At least all this looks so from the outside. So nice. <laughs> um, and I mean, you know, whatever more, more often, it is hard work. Me feel good. It's hard work. Oh my god, it's a lot of work. But it's a life to wake up to. It's about here's what I'm doing today, and also in an unmanageable business, finding some manageability and saying, I can have, I can have tastes of it all. And you've really done it quite extraordinarily. Thank you. And you have something that. Um, and I don't mean to be corny about this because we're not like bye da da bye da da at all. This is something that I'm really proud of you, but also is a. Uh, I love that you're doing a good thing. I lo- the BPA thing is so vitally important. I love that it's like eco friendly. I love that it makes sense. I love that it, I can afford it. You know that people can afford it. I can afford anything. Um, I love. And I gave you that, so you didn't even have to buy it. I didn't even have Maybe to buy it. Maybe that's why you like it so much. I love free things. <laughs> I love swag. Um, anyway, these are really, really super cool. Easylunchboxes.com. And you should check them out. Also adults. They're good for adults, too. Well, that's, just for kids. that's the thing. We're, this is portion, portion control for adults. I mean, it's you know, lunchboxes are not just for kids. In this day Can I tell you something you, else? You, yes. I gave these to a friend of mine whose daughter makes jewelry. Oh, yeah? And she doesn't use them for food. Oh, yeah. She uses them to put her like her little chains and cutting things in this part. And she puts Isn't beads in this part. And Isn't the, that great? She uses them like I, a I use them for makeup. Do you really? And I know that... I know that oh, yeah. Well, hello. Why not? And, and I know She's that... She's got thousands of them I know that other people house. actually are doing what they're doing with it. Um, people who are diabetics, they are actually carrying their diabetic kits... In, oh. in the containers, inside the cooler bag with a... I well, we love the cooler bag, yeah, too. With, with, with the, cooler bag. With the uh, ice block and everything. And I could also make an Iron Man mask out of it for my son, who is obsessed with superheroes. I think it'd be good for Legos. You know what? Oh, it would be. Yeah. It would be. I don't All care right. what you use them Here for. A, just use them. They're really great. I love you. Mm. I'm so proud of you. You just totally made my day. That and you lovely. make mine. Oh. So go to easyblunchboxes.com. I don't know, this could be a series. We may have to pitch this to own. <laughs> All right, All right wait, one last shot. Where's my sunglasses? I loved being with you, darling. I loved being with you, darling. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All of the singing and dancing was an elegant romancing And we learned of love from each routine And I could never get enough of all that silly sort of fluff Of course we always hoped one day They're ready. So now I have shaved and I'm getting remade uh, up for the next fantasy sequence, the black and white sequence in which we're fantasizing about being in the, in the romantic Hollywood 30s films. Six, seven, eight, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Good. Um, so, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, 
There he is. Hi. There you are. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> that's so Wizard of Oz of you. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? What? That's so Wizard of Oz of you. Who what rang that there bell? You go. <laughs> Come on in. All right. So great.